Using the Shortcuts app and Freeform, you can create and use your own custom icon. So I created a shortcut that allows me to dictate some text and have it sent as a new email message. I called the shortcut Dictate Email. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom app icon for that shortcut. The search for the Freeform app. If you're running iOS 16.2, it should be installed. If you don't have it installed, you can search for it in the App Store. Go to your app library and type Freeform. Tap the new boards icon to create a new board. This is a freeform board. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can create icons. The easiest way to create an app icon quickly is to use a sticky note. Tap the sticky note icon at the bottom of the screen. It's the first icon on the left. You'll be presented with a sticky note that looks like it's pinned to the board. Tap on the shape icon. Tap the magnifying glass. Tap on the envelope. Place it on top of the sticky note so that it appears to be in the center. That looks good. Tap on the sticky note to bring up the note options. Tap the yellow circle. If you're using a sticky note, only these colors are available. I'm going to choose the gray color to change the color of the graphic, just tap on it to select it. Tap the blue circle when you're using shapes. Black is available. If you don't see the color that you want on this screen, tap the multicolored circle here, and you get access to Apple's color picker. You can choose your colors as a grid, you can use the color spectrum, or if you tap on sliders, you can use the sliders. You can also enter RGB and hex color values here to get exact colors. To get colors from other graphics, such as app icons, you can use the eyedropper. If you'd like me to make a tutorial on how to use the eyedropper in Freeform to get the values for specific colors, let me know in the comments below. I'll choose black, and then I'm going to tap on the X to dismiss the color picker. Tap in the white space to remove the selection points, and then take a screenshot. Bring up the screenshot editor and crop the screenshot right to the edges of the sticky note. Tap Done, and then tap Save to Photos. Open the Shortcuts app. Tap on the downward facing arrow. And tap Add to Home Screen. Tap on the icon here. Select Choose Photo. Then tap on Choose. Tap on Add, 
I'll tap on the shape icon. I'll tap on basic and choose the rounded rectangle. I get a rounded rectangle that already has the rounded corners all Apple icons have. If I tap on the shape, tap on the fill color, you'll notice that black is available. You can tap on the multicolored circle and you have access to the grid, the spectrum, and the sliders. Using shapes to create your icons gives you many more color choices. Tap on the X to dismiss the color picker. I'll choose black. Tap in the white space to remove the selection from the shape. Tap the shape icon once more. Tap the magnifying glass to search for an object. Choose your object and tap on it. Shrink it down by long pressing in one of the corners and moving the corner, then place it on top of the icon and make sure that it's centered using the yellow guides. I like that gray color. So I'm going to tap on the envelope and choose the gray. Tap in the white space to dismiss the color picker and remove the selection. Take a screenshot and bring up the screenshot editor. Crop the screenshot so the icon is visible. Tap done and tap save to photos. Tap the downward facing arrow and choose add to home screen. Tap here, select choose photo and choose this photo. Tap on choose, tap on add. Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.